I heard about this elderly lady and she was leaving the grocery store and realized she locked her keys in her car. So she got a coat hanger and she was trying and trying to unlock her door with no success. So she prayed and asked God to help her to unlock her door. About this time, a real rough looking guy drove up on a motorcycle wearing leather, tattoos, and a skull cap. In 15 seconds, he had her door unlocked. She hugged him and said, thank you, Lord, for sending me this nice man. The man said, lady, I'm not a nice man. I just got out of jail for auto theft. She gave him an even bigger hug and said, Lord, thank you. You even sent me a professional. You're welcome. So now that all the walls are primed, they're ready for paint. So I'm gonna do one coat on all the walls and we'll see if that's good enough or not. I have two cans of paint, so I have enough to do two coats on all the walls, but we're just gonna start obviously with one and I think it might be enough. I have other plans for the other can anyway if we don't need it. So we'll be heading into the kitchen next and that's where it's gonna be used in there. So as well as doing these three walls and getting them painted and ready for trim, I still have to work on my black wall. It's not quite done yet, so I have to head over there, finish it up. Again, I'm leaving along the top and along the bottoms because it's gonna be covered with trim anyway, so I don't really wanna waste my time or my paint painting it when it's just gonna be hidden in like a few days as soon as we go get the trim and trim it out. So we're gonna finish that wall, get the first coat on these walls and decide if it's ready or not. And if one coat's good enough, then we'll head into Home Depot and we'll buy some wood so that we can frame out the windows, get them all ready, and then trim around them. So we'll do the trim around the windows and on the ceiling and on my black wall. The only trim we won't be able to do right away is see in these corners because we have to get our bottom baseboard done before we run the trim here. And we can't do the baseboard bottom part until we get the floors done. And we're just not ready for the floors right yet. I wanna make sure all the painting's done and the trim's up and we're contemplating whether we should paint the trim white or not. So I wanna make sure all painting's done before we get to the floors. So anyway, we can frame out the windows, build them up, frame them, and then run all the trim on the tops and on my black wall anyway, while we kind of decide what we're gonna do. We know what floor we're gonna pick. It's gonna be, like I've said before, a gray floor is what we're gonna use. Uh, we just don't wanna do it until we're actually ready. And I also have a little bit of painting to do in my kitchen before the cabinets come and before I put any floor down. So I'll do that painting. We also have to finish one wall in the kitchen, so we're gonna work on that. It's kind of like just one step at a time. Get this done, then move over to the kitchen. We have all of our kitchen cabinets ordered, so they should be here within two to four weeks, which is pretty exciting. So they're on their way, and we're just gonna wait for them to arrive, and while we wait, we'll get all this done, because we wanna have the floor done, obviously, and the back wall done before the cabinets arrive, but they are on the way. So that's really exciting. This whole area is just gonna look so different really soon. So I'm gonna get back in my beautiful paint clothes and get at it. I got all week to finish it, but I'm gonna probably get it all done today. <laughs> so, we're gonna paint the walls, as you see right behind me here. And I don't know if I painted this wall behind me, but we're gonna paint the walls today. And we're gonna do another video. So, see you later. So I'm just about finished with all the black paint. I just have to do up here on top of the closet and then it'll all be done. And I'll start my first coat of paint on the white walls. 
the one, the black paint one's just gonna look a little strange. Looks incomplete, but that's just because I didn't paint. Where the trim is going, it's hard painting OSB with a paintbrush, so anything that didn't need to be painted that's gonna be covered, I didn't waste my time painting. I've been storing a bunch of stuff up here, so got stuff everywhere. Ah, oh, I forgot to take out the staples and the nails up here. I haven't even done that yet. All right, so it looks like I'll be taking out the staples and the nails, and then I'll be painting. All right, now that I'm done that brutal, brutally painful job, at least half of it I did. So I just used this to pull the staples out, and then I used this to pull the nails out from the hemlock. And that way it's all clean and ready to go. So I'll just start painting this first half, and then I'll move my ladder and shuffle. Take the rest of them out on that side and then paint. It's such a cool contrast, the color. Especially, I guess we haven't told you what we're doing with the kitchen, but when we do the kitchen, it'll look really good to the black right above, like the wall that goes into the kitchen. It'll look cool. You'll see one day. <laughs> I look forward to getting back to the white wall though with the roller, that's for sure. This is a lot of work, painting this by hand, by paintbrush. Okay, so we have a piece of hemlock that is true to size, six inches, that we decided we're gonna put right under here to trim the bottom of this out, because we wanted to build this out, because this, um, as most of you know, used to be an exterior wall. So when we first built our house, it was only just under 600 square feet. So the house ended here, there was a full wall here. So then when we put the addition on, and we cut this big section here out and built the addition, so we could walk through, open the whole house up. We haven't done anything with the top here, which is, which is literally just like the top for like the last part of the house. It's like the beam for the ceiling of our house. So we had, we've been wanting to build it out for a long time. Now that we're finally doing all the interior work, we're gonna build it out. And we happen to have a piece of hemlock that we had actually bought to use as one of the rafters in the sugar shack outside that we had built. Since it was just sitting in the garage and it's just extra, we're gonna use it because it actually fits on here perfect because this is six inches wide and it's a true six inch beam. And it's the exact 14 foot length that we need to run all along here, which is really awesome. So it's gonna fit perfectly. But since we're doing that, I am using pine trim all along here. Like I've said many of times, we're gonna use pine trim and it's about three and a half inches thick. So it's like a two, it's a one by four piece, but it's really like three and a half inches. So I did leave a gap here, but because we're now using that two inch thick, hemlock I just want to make sure that all this is covered where like because the the pines probably going to come down a lot further than I actually anticipated so I'm just going to go around and just make this black come down a little bit further on some spots probably on all of it that way for sure I know we're safe that when we do put the trim on you're not going to see any of the OSB in behind it just on the bottom only because up here it'll be perfectly fine it's still the same length. This, the three and a half will totally cover all that. That's way less than three and a half inches. So it's just on the bottom here. I wanna make sure you only have about an inch and a half it's gonna cover on this piece. So I just wanna make sure that it's all done properly. So as soon as I'm done that, I'm finally gonna be done with the black wall. Can't wait to be done with it because I just wanna get back on the white stuff, which is a roller and it just goes on so much faster. So. I'm not in my paint clothes. I know this isn't a good idea because last time I painted not in my paint clothes, I ended up with paint on my jeans. But unfortunately, I don't learn very well and I really only have the tiniest bit to do. So I'm just gonna try in my white dress painting with black. Hopefully I don't get black all over me, but there is black lines luckily on my dress. So maybe it'll kind of blend in if I happen to get it on me. 
we'll see. So anyway, that's all I'm going to do here. And then I do have the hemlock board inside the house ready to go. We have our brad nailer, air compressor, everything in here. So we're going to get it put up here as soon as uh, I'm done all the painting and stuff. I'm going to get that done. So that's fun. Oh, frig, this paint just like gets right on the, that's the only problem with this paint is like just seals all around the lid and it's so stinking hard to open after. I have to run it underwater. All right, got my lid off. Just took like, you just literally have to run it underwater for like a sec and it works, so that's good. All right, don't get it on yourself, Ashley. Whoop, 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 whoop. Now that I'm thinking about not getting it on myself, I will get it on myself, eh? It's like right when you just don't want to do something, that's when it happens. Oh, and I'm thinking of painting the hemlock board that's going to go under here white, and then it'll match the walls too. I think that'll look really cool. So that's the plan. I have a little bit extra left in here, so yeah, it's all over my hands. Luckily, it's not on my dress yet, so. I um, still have a little bit extra, so I'm just going to go do this little corner over here. Just easier on the eyes while I'm waiting to trim it out. But other than that, we're done now. Done the black. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll just save this. I'll save this last little bit of paint that I have left in here in case we need to do some touch-ups anywhere and call it done. Yay! So, like I said, we'll hang the, the little trim thing that we built, that we brought in here for it. And then I'll start painting my first coat of white on the walls. Mm -hmm. 